Good morning and let's call a meeting to order. Can we call a meeting to order? A very good morning to you. Um, yes. Um, my name is Mubatera Jole Ririka. I'm a national chairperson of Swanu. Um, I have a very wondrous task, um, basically to welcome you all here to our um, humble abode. Um, ours is a place that reflects the history of our people. It is a reality of who we are, what we have been, and what we are going to be. Um, before I say anything, let me also welcome the, the media that is here with us today. Let me also recognize the presence of some of our traditional leaders that are gracing this occasion. We have Chief Rukande with us. We have our Chief Kaubi with us. We have Chief Yeya with us. We have Chief Shikua with, um, Shikua with us. Shakuba with us. Sorry. Um, Shakuba, but I'm going to walk up. Nondangere Mungenje. Nondangere, of course, with the spirit medium. It's the spirit medium. And he's here, of course, to grace this particular occasion. That being the case, also, I would also want to recognize the presence of the two leaders that are here with us. Of course, we've got Karonda as the host, and Comrade Medi with us. Um, now, what you are seeing here is the tracing of the footsteps of Kashikuru Meotea Kutapo. That's exactly what we are doing. Ours is a generational reality that we have to face. Every generation has its responsibility. Shikuru Kakashikuru Mehobi Abutako had the responsibility to gather our people when they came out of the conservation camps. To reassert who we were, who we are, and who we are going to be. Of course, there are some realities that we have to face as a people. Yeah. We have lost ourselves. We have lost our culture. We have lost our polity. And we have lost our land. We were disseminated by the Germans. It's a reality that we have. As Namibians and as people of uh, who are of uh, Shero speaking in this country. We are a historic reality of this country. People may not like to face it, but that's what it is. Now, when we are tracing these footsteps, the same leaders started Swan. The same leaders, that was 1959, and in 1964, they started Nudo. For the same purpose, and you may have the history, you would know and recall that there's a group of 154 people who actually ended up in Omakunda, in Botswana. These people were supposed to have gone for military training. One of the first trained Namibian by China, by China of Mao Zedong was Moses Kashiwongwa uh, and so many others. Moses was the most trained of all of them. But that's the reality of this country. Now, tracing the same footsteps, we are saying, here we are again together, Swanu members, Nudo members, 
sitting side by side and reimagining a future for ourselves in this country. We are looking at a future with an open mind, a swanu. We are welcoming our colleagues in our fold. But the most important thing is not that pie in the sky. It's our land. The important thing is our land. The other critical and cardinal issue is the genocide. The genocide is the historic reality of this country. The genocide deniers, and I dare say this, they can go to hell. They can go to hell. Ours is a genocide of the 21st century. No one can deny it. It's a reality of this country. Now, if people don't want to face it, we will face it ourselves. We will fight. It may not be in my lifetime. But the fight will go on. I remember saying to some of our people when we gathered in Swakopmund that we are even better off this time around. We have children living in Europe, born there. We have children living in Canada and or the Americas for that matter. And that is another reality. Now, this is the reality that they are going to face. Mm -hmm. They may see, think of us as being Negroes, Africans, savages. Yes, the savages that, came, that fought you for, five, for four years, they will fight you for another 120 years. Amen. These savages will fight the Germans, whether the Germans like it or not, for the next 120 years. Until our people, blood is restored, of course we know, cannot be, cannot be, we cannot get our people back. Mm -hmm. But a recognition thereof, an acknowledgement thereof, and a restitution to the satisfaction of ourselves as the people who are affected. Mm -hmm. We will fight the Germans, and Germans must take it from me. Take it from me. We will fight you to the last blood of our people. Yes. You wish us dead, we are here. Yes. I'm a proud hero standing here in front of you. Controta did not kill me. Yes, yes I'm suffering from the, 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 the effects of Controta's uh, extermination order. But I am here and I'm going to fight Controta to the last. The Controtas to me that I'm talking about, they are here in this country. Yes. So, now having said that, I am not the speaker of the day. Of course, I'm a person, I get emotional, I get angry, but it's not my it's not my call. I have got two important people that I have here for you. And of course, I would want to afford them the opportunity to address us, to tell us why we are here, to tell us how they think they are going to trace those footsteps. And I thank you very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. 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 Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Solomonis, Chairman of the uh, Swano Party, Mr. Mbati Ranjo Skiridika, for according me this uh, opportunity to speak at this 
very, very important uh, occasion. Um, of course, I must uh, recognize the presence of uh, our traditional chiefs, as already mentioned. Um, uh, also, the guardian of uh, the common of a river holy fire. Uh, please uh, feel welcome, feel settled, although I'm uh, not a, a real host. Uh, but uh, as people who have been always there and guiding us, I must really recognize your presence here today. Good day, members of the media, Nudo and Swano members and supporters, and fellow Namibians. We stand here today to briefly address the ongoing leadership crisis. We're not going to spend a lot of time eh, on uh, that leadership crisis within Nudo. But I think it's only fair that you understand from where we are coming and uh, where we are intending to go. So uh, 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 we are taking a lot of uh, steps uh, to legitimate uh, the leadership group that is now here with us today and also to restore the party's integrity, to uphold the democratic principle and safeguard the future of NUTO. We, also, we will also use this platform to unequivocally <coughs> call upon our members, our people, supporters, and those who may consider this new partnership, their new political home, to follow our voting guidance in the upcoming elections. Over the past few months, our party has faced significant internal challenges. The former leadership has acted outside the party's constitution framework, resulting in an unfortunate breakdown of trust and internal division. This situation has delegitimized the former leadership and undermined the democratic foundations upon which NUTO was built. After careful consultations with our, our legal experts, we have decided to defend the matter in which they are bringing this leadership uh, before the courts. Uh, and we also, additionally to that, we are doing a counter-application in the courts. So that's a process that is ongoing there. We are doing so on two very important premises. Uh, the fact that, they are, that the former leadership's term of office has expired on the 3rd of March, 2024 is not in dispute. That has rendered the authority to take any decisions on behalf of the party invalid. Any actions taken after that date, including the calling of an electoral college and the submission of a parliamentary list to the electoral commission are legally void. Uh -huh. So, we are also joining the Electoral Commission of Namibia in our court challenge to prevent them from accepting or endorsing the legitimate, the illegitimate parliamentary list submitted by the former leadership. This is an essential, this is an essential step to safeguard the democratic representation of neutral in the upcoming parliamentary elections. Whatever they accept today, we don't care too much. In addition to uh, the legal actions, we have explored and endorsed a tactical political alignment with SWAN to safeguard NUTO's parliamentary representation. Over the last few days, we have widely consulted with traditional leaders our branch and constituency leaderships across the country. We have received solid, and I want to repeat that, solid and unanimous support to enter into a strategic partnership with SWAN, which we officially announced today. <laughs> our people are resolute in ensuring that their votes will not be misused by constitutional delegates. They will cast their votes in a manner that benefits them 
rather than serving the interest of a few individuals by voting under the Swano banner during this election cycle. Yes. This partnership is not a departure from our commitment to NUTO, but rather a strategic, a strategic move to ensure that our supporters and the principles we stand for remain represented in the National Assembly. Let us be clear, this is a temporary measure and our commitment to the long-term future of NUTO remains steadfast. We extend our deepest gratitude to Swano and its leadership, Mr. Garonda, for your receptiveness, welcoming and accommodation of brothers and sisters whose political home has been hijacked by a group of constitutional diligence. We have already launched an aggressive communication campaign to keep our members, supporters and the public informed about the actions we are taking to defend Nudo's democratic values the Congress held on the 7th to the 8th of September was a legitimate response to the corrupt and unconstitutional actions of the former leadership, and our legal and political steps are aimed at restoring legitimacy and democratic governance within the party. We are directing our supporters and those who see this new partnership as representative of their political aspirations to vote for this new partnership formed between ourselves and so on. Uh, in, in, in doing so, I want to caution you that there are four people I know of, four political formation I know of, that you must never vote for. There are four political formations that I know of that you must never vote for. Those led by people, one, those led by people who have not lost land or suffered genocide. You must not vote for them. They don't know what you have gone through. They don't know what you have lost. Those led by people who stole your land. Somebody sitting on your land today cannot talk for you to reclaim your land. Those who are distributing your ancestral land instead of redistributing it. Those who are settling people on your land instead of resettling people. Those who are running a program called a, a resettlement program, but yet they don't resettle, they settle people who have not lost land. They cannot speak on your behalf. But the, the, the most evil of them the biggest evil is those whom you entrusted with your votes at the last elections and who sold it for personal gain, who remained silent for five years without defending your rights, without having spoken on your behalf to reclaim your land and for your rights to speak on your, on your own behalf during the negotiations for genocide and restorative justice. As I stand here, and having engaged uh, the Swano leadership over the last few weeks, I can honestly and proudly and openly say that together we have now formed a political formation, maybe one of the few, mm -hmm. political formations that can truthfully and unapologetically speak for those who lost land, and those whose rights to speak on genocide and restorative justice has been hijacked by the system. We intend to end a parliament to engage in constructive discourse, propose solutions to the challenges facing our communities, and be the voice for parity and equal opportunities for all our people. Mm -hmm. Namibia is blessed with abundant wealth and a small population. None of our people should face poverty as their default setting. As we navigate this challenging period, we remain focused on the long-term goal of reclaiming leadership within NUTO and strengthening our party from within. We have already begun to, re to reinforce the party's internal structures 
and initiated a process to review our constitution. With uh, regional and local authority elections happening next year, we are open to continuing this political alliance. This one. <laughs> Ensuring Nutter's core values remain relevant in Namibia's political landscape. We ask for the continued support of Nutter members and supporters as we work diligently to restore the integrity of our party and protect its future. Those who... I'm, I'm just, I just noticed that a social media post by one of the publications uh, suggesting that uh, Beri Lukoro is uh, Nuto by day and Swano, and Swano by night. I, 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 can, I can assure you, since you are here, I can assure you that I do not take decisions all by myself. The decisions that I have one, the, the, the reason that I'm here now I've been asked to be here. Okay. I have agreed because I saw that I can serve. Two, two, you have just seen and heard the representation of our traditional leaders form the cornerstone, actually founded this organization that I represent today. The owners of this organization. Both organizations. Yes, in fact, uh, both organizations were formed by the Chiefs Council under Jose Akutako. And uh, they are current the current representative of that great man are the traditional leaders of today. We have four of them here today. And many others are keenly waiting on today's results. So I have that blessing of my ancestors and my current, you know, my current and future ancestral leaders. Uh, secondly, I have the youth with me, the young people that you see here today. So this uh, support for this idea stretches across all age categories and all across the whole of our communities. So. It is not a very decision. It is not me standing here. It is the people you see on the other side. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, you have heard it from the horse's mouth. Um, without much ado, I will also ask the Swan President, Colonel Karonda, to step in and take the mic so that he can give us his view. And then we can ask questions there after. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Can you put something for the window, please? Can you move that side? Or you can move the window. Can you put something for the window? Can you put something for the window? Can Chief Rukambe, Chief Yeya, Chief Kaugi, Chief Shakuba, Chief Shakuba, and the guardian of our sacred fire, Mr. Mugenje, Moro, Mapeduka, Murinawa, Tetulinawa Noro, Corporate President, Puri. Yeah. You know, before I read what I wrote, which probably also would come in what I wrote, uh, I don't know how many of you realize Kuja in Abu Joshua Mubenka Mushwauja or Shinajima to Pahoku Uramba Kogushita, Shinomahe and Kate. 
Mamuchua. Oswanu. On brandi et vimen matrem vino de longue vita non amovio. Yaroukwaï, chief Clemens Kapu. Amouzoua, on voit le soin et la dina. Chanda, à Karamogaru, qui est au monde, si maï, et barricoua, mon brandi et vimen matrem vino de longue amovio. Oswanu Juatara. Oh. Pashuqua, the Timbutu Hiraganti, or the Mulo Denki, to Shukiwa Mohani, Mokuhaha, to Shukiwa Moku, you are one of the Kerewa, you are afraid to be on the Kamatambo, the Niki Rohani Mete, the Tui Yakura, and to the Okumundo of the Banyamu. Kuja shifa pibuka, shifa hanika, keti yeko vietu. Shalo kano vandu, dehingere rakandi, bakwa fahiete, kwa fiyambe hongi rakove tuhure. Shimura shimura ya wawu javi. Oshi no shiwa, horombende, ufako mwe kembo, kondu wakani nekuno wando ishi, jima itumu kihuporetu no kenaiti. Kau menunggu di pangguli kau hingga awak ini memang hingga nasi nyusu muhir. Kau mungkin buat semua muka kau siang bungguli kau saja. Amin nawa betul kali ini. We cannot participate in our own oppression. You cannot be an active participant in your own oppression. Oh, dan dua sihir, so politik kena mai asih. Kwa hukuro inari he leads to two things. One, any political party's primary role in a democracy or in a parliamentary or electoral democracy like ours requires that you have members, supporters, to vote for you so that you may have a voice in the decision-making processes of your country. In this case, uh, we have an election coming in November, and we need the support of everybody who understands and who shares our vision and conviction to pull us through to the other side. So there is nothing wrong with people who share those visions and those convictions and those thoughts to come together and decide to work on a new path towards eliminating all these vices, this negative energy that we've had for the past more than 60 years that kept our people apart. So to that end, it is not just Chief Kajigurume vision that brought us here today, but it is also a vision that was shared by among others, just to mention a few, Kakuruka de Mungunda when she got shot in protest of forced removal, mm -hmm. 1959, December 10. Mm -hmm. But today you are told that 1959 is something that even Swapo doesn't want to remember. Mm -hmm. it, it wishes that mm -hmm. it was there itself or it was formed at the time that this thing happened, but because it was not even established or formed, it is part of our history that they would rather have buried. Mm. <laughs> that is how we get robbed of our own humanity. Washibwa njo de mude yata. Chima katira wa majiwa gonganda. Anjema konji kabushe. Ijima likutuka. Tuhe tukare kofonda matukara. 
Kherson ishali dai sima son bindushi ya terahere the red of our blood the sweeter of our victory it is the victory of the dispossessed the colonized the oppressed the disenfranchised all be in my name bali po bakero ya kombe martin makari one of the things I said in Aminus and Bajere, Martin Makari Shimai, Kakahakai Nebu no Chika, the Guru no Ziyabutako, the Kote Oshua. Chimbi Hungira, Chimbi Bukratin, the Rue Misha, Chief Kari Mimongo Bawa Shimatu, Katire no Imari Wawando Ishomati. Shimai Muyao Hangando, Waluka Meha Tore Shire, Rodro <laughs> So I have great pleasure in welcoming you to our board here, and I'm happy that today we are together. One of the great, one of our greatest African thinkers, by the name of Omar Franz Fanon, said the following, and he says, each generation must, out of relative obscurity, discover its mission fulfill it or betray it. We have discovered our mission. We intend to fulfill it. <laughs> These are the words of Franz Fanon. Our mission is to give our people a dignified sense of belonging as equal citizens of our country and continent. Our mission is therefore to bring economic, social and political freedom to all the oppressed people of our land. In order to fulfill this mission, especially in a political environment in which the ruling party has deliberately divided the people along tribal lines, we must constantly interrogate our political strategy, or else we will face absolute obscurity. The political architecture established and cemented by SWAPO is one in which we as citizens are forced to build political strength on the basis of how well we can mobilize, organize, and rally political support from among people we consider to be our own kind, or those with whom we share a certain bond or common interest. The common denominating factor, most if not all tribes of our country, is the reality that organizations responsible for their suffering and exclusion from economic opportunities from history books, from their land, from the reparations in the case of the Obaherero and Nama people, is indeed Swapo in his government. Whether in the school books of history or in all public platforms, such as televisions, radios, or during national public holidays, the role played by all other tribes in the fight for freedom has always been brushed aside and belittled. What Swapo has set out to do is to kill the collective memory history and contributions of the tribes or ethnic groups that are not in control of SWAPO to the freedoms that we all enjoy today. The supreme sacrifice made by these tribes or ethnic groups have always been ignored or made to be seen as unimportant when compared to the same sacrifices made by especially the Oshuapo speaking Namibians. Since 1966, which we are told is the time that our liberation struggle started, which of course, as you know, is just one big fat lie. <laughs> the situation in which Swapo fiercely denies the progressive and revolutionary role played by tribes and all ethnic groups that do not have hegemony over Swapo is no longer tenable 
and must therefore be rejected by all Islamic Namibians. Our fight against foreign domination and forces of occupation did not start with Swapo. Our history can therefore not be equated to or limited to the history of Swapo. We contemptuously reject this misplaced narrative. It cannot be correct that when the crimes of genocide committed against the Nama and the Orero people by the barbaric German authorities are dismissed as insignificant by both the Namibian government and that of, German, of Germany, prominent people in, our, in, in other tribes or prominent people of other tribes or ethnic groups seem to be unbothered just because they feel directly unaffected by the cries of the Nama and the Ohio people. The point I'm driving home here is that if we are to unite and if we are to be one, it is incorrect for a Kwanyama queen, a Donga king, or any other person to remain silent when it is so evident that government in cahoots with the German government are oppressing people. They are fellow citizens, they are fellow brothers and sisters who have suffered the effects of genocide and who continue to suffer those effects for over 120 years. We must all stand up if it is seen, and if we agree that this is an injustice. It can't be an injustice because it, it is happening to one person. It's an injustice because it is an injustice. It's an injustice. It's an unacceptable human situation. It can also not be correct and accepted as normal. For instance, for the children born in exile, represented by the Namibia Exile Kids Association or NECA in short, or whichever other formation to demand special treatment and economic opportunities, employment and education, at the total exclusion of the rest of us. It is also not correct for a government which claims to represent all Namibians to stoop so low so as to hit the demands of the so-called children of the liberation struggle. Because everywhere you go, in, even in our own villages, you would be told that struggle. <laughs> If there is a genuine commitment to the unity of our people, regardless of tribes or ethnic groups, why has there been no call, even by government or any other tribes, or efforts made to also include returnees, for instance, of people or children born in Botswana? Now, if the returnees from Botswana, as an example, were not born by people who struggled for the freedom of our country. Mm. If they were not born by heroes, mm. then who are the heroes? Sure. Yeah. Who are the heroes of our liberation struggle? Yeah. <coughs> because if these people were, if, if they fled this country, being chased by the Germans, and now they are returning home, you can treat them as if they went for some holiday. You can't do that. No. And you cannot send a German minister to go and receive them. <laughs> Parade himself as the hero now welcoming people that he chased out of this country. The guy has blood on his hands. How can he, how can he welcome our people back? Yeah. And how can Bumba allow that? Mm. I'm sure these people were people that... Imagine plane fighters arriving in Namibia being received by thick border. Yeah. What kind of nonsense is that? So we've got to also tell these guys that this insensitive conduct it is something we can no longer tolerate. <coughs> and then you have another arrogant German fellow by the name of Herbert Yau who claims that just because people have never seen fish in their life they should not be given fish in water. What, what does, if I've seen fish or not, even if I eat it or not, what does that have to do with me benefiting from a natural resource? If, of course, I mean, Herbert Jauch is trying to defend another German fellow, but 
the arrogance of this Germany needs to be nipped in the bud. People cannot just continue to behave as if they are in their country and we are the second class citizens. It is for these reasons that Swan of Namibia supports the call, among other things, for the total rejection of the joint declaration between Namibia and, 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 and the German government, at least in its current form, <coughs> and also that there be direct negotiations between the affected communities and the German government. <laughs> the Namibian government must limit its role to that of a facilitator if it chooses not to be part, to, not to be a party of interest alongside the affected communities. President Bumba must be warned not to sign the joint declaration and signing it is not only an irresponsible display of arrogance, but also an insensitive and, and also insensitive and despicable. President Bumba and his handlers must stop promoting Western imperialism and step aside if he is not a man if he is not man enough to take the Germans on. After all, it is our blood. It is our blood they spilled, and the, the, the restorative justice we are after is ours to demand and to take. Yes. Yes. The land the Swapa government has deprived our people of is our land to demand, and soon it shall be ours to take. Yes. Of course, we want to take it better without the spilling of blood. But with the, with the spilling of blood, if they so choose. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wars have been fought over land, and wars are still being fought over land. And the time for us to fight for the return of our land is fast approaching. We are better free in our graves than to live like slaves in poverty in our own country. So to this end, President Bumba has a decision to make. He has a choice to make. President Bumba has a decision to make, or will make it for him. The Obairoro people shall no longer tolerate his insults and his disrespect. It is, it is insulting to tell the world and our people that the arrogant government intends to use some of the reparation money to buy land back from the same Germans who stole our land and killed our people. Our land is not nego negotiable, and the reparation money is not intended to buy back land from those barbarians. Cowards <coughs> think to please their oppressors, but we are not cowards. We refuse to become active participants in our own oppression just because we have cowards as leaders in government. Swan of Namibia is richer today and bigger today because of the like-minded comrades in Nudo who took a strong decision to join in <coughs> our fight and turn the National Assembly into a battlefield. We are happy. We are happy that November is no longer an out-of-reach date and the possibilities which will come from an, an excellent electoral performance are limitless. It is the first time for people, especially the Ovanero or Ambandero speaking Namibians, to come together for a much bigger purpose than the narrow personal interest, <laughs> which for years have plagued our communities. We can now, under Swan of Namibia, push the frontiers of political possibilities much closer. The Germans, the Americans, the Canadians, the British, and the French must now be told that their stay on this continent and in this country is no longer considered business as usual. We must forge strong alliances with the global south and place Namibia on the map as a progressive anti-imperialist society and not a sellout under a reactionary state in Swapo's hands. Of course, we also have challenges of unemployment among our young people. 
and this is also campaign time. Unemployment among our young people is a sickening sign of a failed economic project under SWAPO. And we will create the necessary jobs by first and foremost doing away with outsourcing of government and municipal services and by destroying the entire labor hire system from the face of our country. After having been formed in 1960 to fight against the exploitation of Namibian workers through labor hire, SWAPO is today, 34 years after independence, the one championing labor hire together with the African Personnel Services, which also has become a close business associate of the National Union of Namibian Workers. <laughs> workers must therefore reject SWAPO and its affiliated trade unions and give all their votes to SWAPO of Namibia. Oh, yes. The freedom of workers is impossible without workers' power, and workers' power is impossible without economic freedom. Swanu of Namibia brings that economic freedom to all impoverished black people in this country, and we are unapologetic about that as well. Because we believe that for every black person who is poor in this country, you have a filthy, wealthy, rich, German to start with, and rich white Namibian. The richness and the wealth of white people would never have been possible if black people were not impoverished by that wealth. So for every rich person you see driving around in this country, remind yourself that if they were not that rich, you wouldn't be this poor. And if you were not this poor, they wouldn't be that rich. So we know which doors to knock, yeah. and we must knock those doors. Mm. Swapo government misplaced strategy of selling Namibia to wealthy foreigners must be stopped immediately, and Swapo of Namibia will fight against the granting of permanent residency permits to foreigners, most of whom are Europeans and Americans. Because they are saying, for some reason, it is a prudent investment promotion strategy to bring in retired multi-millionaires or billionaires to, Na to Namibia, give them permanent residency permits so that they may <coughs> buy land. That's the core strategy of the Swapo's investment promotion program. <laughs> Whose land are they going to sell to these foreigners? Yes. It's our land. So you see the arrogance of their government. While we are talking to them about Land, talking to them about genocide, they for some reason feel that is not as important as bringing in foreigners to buy our land just because these foreigners have money and just because for some reason we are not politically an incentive to Swapo. And it is the only reason why Swapo, for instance, and his government would not sit at the negotiating table and encourage. Hereros who fled this country, or Namas who were forced out of this country to come back home. They wouldn't do that. Because politically, Swapo feels disincentivized. It's no incentive. What is the benefit for them? So, if you look at Swapo as a party that represents you, you have got to think again. And one of the things that I've seen which we all hate the most. <coughs> and my colleagues to seriously consider talking to Comrade Berry. There's one common enemy. Berry was very kind in his characterization of it. There's one common enemy that we have. The very first common enemy we have is Swapo. That's the common enemy we have. The second enemy we have that we must fight against is everybody that Swapo protects. Yes. That's the German. Mm -hmm. You hit Swapo, then you expose the Germans, they come out naked. Mm -hmm. You deal with the Germans directly because they know. They are just vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Anybody who holds your land here, they can never take this land back to Germany. Mm -hmm. So we've got to deal with the Germans directly. And the Germans must be warned, and this is not political rhetoric, this is fact. 
You see how many of our people were confused or mis- mistaken for baboons or the thumbs? <laughs> you see how many of our people were mistaken for baboons? They were shot and killed. Yes, on our land. You see how difficult it is to get on any of the farms private property. Mm-hmm. In fact, they will shoot you without even. They will shoot you first and then ask questions later. Mm-hmm. But that's our land. So, colleagues, very. We are excited. We are looking forward to working together beyond 2020. I mean, 2027 November. And I think if you go around, take Komahege as, as an example. Swapo is castrated. I know Swapo, Modorijan, and that are the handling in Mutukar and oh, my hair hanging on a man I tung. That we demo swap. Oh, my hair hanging on a man I try him. That we demo swap. Shua Gumbani, I am pretty sure. Swapo did not see this happening. They didn't see it coming. Swapo would go back to the drawing boards and try and figure out ways to divide us. I was there for many years. They couldn't buy me, they couldn't bribe me, so it's impossible. I don't see them bribing him. We, we are not for sale. Our people's future is not negotiable, it's not for sale. The land is ours. Abano Kaduka Epamwe, to Tenga Tenga Uyungragetu, or to Pew, or to Hongwe, or to Kukutu, Kadu Tone Wanunga, Baya was swap on Wenu and Dizanga, no swap We need to. Beat these people up. Oshi Javari, Maduro Rumayende, Tukamuro to Kongwa, Peto Benio non Vetukutushi to him. Indi Kusha, Swanu Strait, Nudo Strait, Marabuja Kongungu, Katukoji Hubrumu. Katuri Honga with Javi. Nandi tuno go feske la detu mugati ke tu lombata. Kapeka oshi na shima shi tu zire pamwe shima tu jabi ihi oshi tatu ihi. Chipe o mugo banga na me me bukambura hi nandi tuwa ino bita kumwe katu anate. Oshi. Oshi. Let us have one thing that we all consider as too important. The sanctity of our unity is never up for negotiation. For the possibilities that that I'm telling you now in where did we have our center center committee? Yes, yes, never. Okay. July. We didn't think this was possible. July and Brandy. But they are not to hear of in our She had to my own lace to get up a parliamenta. And if I know one do, before for Shira, in the Akaduna, but you listen to the wrong brother, the new Shira. Oh, that's very angry, Puma Tiene, eh? Very, very angry, Puma, eh? When you are from Runga to Hongay, for fear that took Pandere, for one in Okay.